If you're going to learn how to convert decimal to binary, you might as well learn how to do it in hex too. Quick word before we get into this, this is one way to do it from my perspective as a network engineer who has gotten a CCNA. This is something other network engineers who are in the middle of studying for their CCNA or who have gotten their CCNA can do. Yes, I realize you can do this online. Yes, I realize most people don't have to do this manually. I don't care. Just chill out, okay? It's a fun, th it's just fun, all right? Just chill out. You only need to know a couple of minor additional things in order to make the leap to hex. So to convert from decimal to binary, you already need to know two to the power of zero through seven. So that's 128, 64, 32, 16, eight, four, two, and one. For example, let's take the number 157. To turn 157 to decimal, we're gonna start with 128, no 64, no 32. Then we're gonna add 16, eight, four, skip the two, and one. This leaves us with 1001, 1101. Ta-da, we've converted 157 to binary. Now there's just a little bit more effort to turn it into hex. So to convert this number into hex, we're going to split the binary representation in half. So instead of eight bits representing two to the zero through seven power, we now have two sets of four bits representing two to the zero through three power each, meaning the values are now 8421, 8421. So let's take that first nibble, 1001. With our new values of 8421, we simply add them up and we get the number nine. So nine is our first part of that hex value. Now we're gonna take the second half of it, the second nibble, 1101. And to get that number in hex, we're just going to add 8, 4, and 1, 13. Here's where your last little bit of minor effort comes in for hex specifically. When you're counting in hex, everything above 9 is numbered using the letters of the English alphabet. So after 9 comes A, and then B, and then C, up until F. So our value was 13 when we added up those numbers from the binary representation. Instead of 13, the number is actually D. Again, this is because in hex, after nine comes A, B, C, D. 10, 11, 12, 13. 157 in decimal is 1001101 in binary, and in hex, it is 9D. See, I told you, it's just a couple more steps. Easy.